Hi, I'm Jody Adams. Welcome back to the Rialto Kitchen with my good friend, the Spanish mackerel. This is a gorgeous fish. It's uh, a friend and family to the Atlantic mackerel, but it's slightly lighter in color, the flesh, as you can see. We fillet the fish, take the bones out, and leave the skin on. I really like a nice crispy skin. If you don't like the skin, you can have your uh, fishmonger take it off, but I leave it on. And I'm going to make a slightly sweet and sour marinade for the fish. Um, it's typical of um, something from uh, the north of Italy. And with a dark-ish flesh fish, it's a nice um, combination of flavors. So I have lemon zest and lemon juice, some honey, some very, very finely minced shallots and garlic, a tiny bit of curry powder, and some mint. A little bit of oil. Now I'm going to season the fish fillets with salt and pepper and season from a distance so you get a nice even distribution of the pepper and the salt. And I'm going to cook the skin side down so it gets nice and crispy. The skin gets crispy. And then I like to serve the skin. If you don't like the skin, to eat the skin, you can either take it off at that point or have the fishmonger fillet it for you. I mean, uh, skin it for you. A little bit of oil. Now, this recipe works really well also on the grill or under the broiler. You would brush the fish with a little bit of oil and then cook it again skin side down. You could also, if you wanted to do things a little more efficiently, toss the fish with the marinade and put it um, under the broiler. But trying to grill or sear the fish once it's marinated is problematic. I've had that experience. Everything burns. You don't want that. So I'm going to take the marinade and just spoon a little bit over the flesh because this, the fish is going to cook almost completely on this side, on the skin side. Okay, and you can see as the fish cooks, it goes from being translucent to opaque. And this one, the little one, is ready to be turned. And now I'll brush a little more or spoon a little bit over the top of the fish. Beautiful. So we have the beautiful mackerel cooked and a variety of components. And in this dish, um, the mackerel is a condiment to the rest of the ingredients. It's not necessarily the main event. You can see by the size of the fish, these are about two ounce portions, that um, it's just one element with a number of others. So I have a seven grade pilaf here. I'll put a little spoonful on the plate. Some beans. And all of these um, ingredients have a variety of flavors that work really well together. I have some pesto. Pesto has pistachios and celery and basil. And then these beautiful asparagus. Roasted celery. And then a, a lovely piece of fish. I'll put, use the scallions as a garnish. 
of mint. So who would miss a huge piece of fish when you had a plate like this? So they have seven grain pilaf, the mackerel, some beans, beautiful beans, roasted vegetables, and a little pesto. Thank you.